Hey, y'all. So I recorded something kind of long, like three times now. And once I lost it and the other two times, I just, I want to not be insensitive, but I also just feel the need to speak on it. So, um, I just want to say that what's going on with Kaylee's family and Steve having another daughter, which is his eldest daughter that's come out. And many of you probably know by now, um, she's clearly wants a relationship with her father. And I personally just think it's none of our business. It's none of our business. Seriously, you guys, it's why is that our business? And I don't want to be mean and that's not my intent. Um, I just think this woman has come out and her timing is very inopportune. Um, I don't know how she thinks that what she's doing is going to get her the attention that she's clearly seeking from her biological father. And some of you might not like what I'm saying, but oh well. I mean, that's my personal opinion, my personal take. Um, I just, I don't know what she's expecting. She's gaining the attention of hundreds of thousands of people on TikTok, which is fine if that's what she wants. But to have people now hating on Christy, I mean, do you guys know the statistics? And I didn't look it up because I am just speaking from my heart right now of marriages that don't last when things like this occur. You lose a child in such a way, a manner like this. And we already can see they disagree on some things with the case, right? Um, so why is this our business? Why is it our place to judge them based on one person's account of a one-sided story? Um, I just, I'm, I, I'm kind of shocked at what I'm seeing. It's, it's cruel, you guys. It's cruel. And I'm sorry, but like the one year day that this happened, I'm not using the word anniversary, but that's coming up in a couple days, right? So why now? And why is it our business? Please, if someone believes it's our business, I would love to hear your perspective in the comment section below. Um, you don't have to agree with me, but I will say it 20 million times. It's none of our business. And Kaylee would not be happy. Um, this person just is not handling things like an adult, in my personal opinion. And I feel society has done one thing. It's become successful at allowing people to think that spewing your family dysfunction and your nonsense. I mean, I did this type of stuff like when I was 18, not as an adult. And she's grown. She has a child. Like, you cannot do that to someone in his position especially and expect him to what what does she expect from him that's what I would love to know because I can guarantee what she's doing is 99.999% not going to get the outcome that she's claiming that she wants and hopes for would you agree and I guess what really bothers me is that this family did not ask to be put into the public eye, right? Like they didn't wish this upon themselves. They're not celebrity figures. You know, they're, they're in a horrible spot. So people are, I've, I've seen people saying this changes their view of Steve as a father. I mean, why do you want him to have justice for his daughter who was taken from this world in a horrific manner? Or do you just care about his personal business? Because in my opinion, that's not our business and it has nothing to do with the case. And while I understand that this other daughter has her hopes and whatever to have a relationship with her father, I just don't know how anyone can think that this was the proper way to go about handling that. And I'm sorry, but like, how would Christy feel now? We don't know both sides to the story, you guys. There's two sides to every story, and then there's the truth, right? So 
I don't know. I realize that so many people can relate to her, hence why she's getting so much attention. But I don't know. We don't know the whole story. And while, okay, so he may have, quote unquote, abandoned this girl. Can you please somebody explain to me why that matters in terms of us out here in the true crime community wanting justice for Kaylee, Maddie, Zana, and Ethan? Because to me, none of what their parents have done in the past is any of our business. And honestly, I think that to say you care about this case and then be bashing this family now I just would love somebody to explain why that's okay, because I don't think it's okay at all. And I'll also say that right now with November 13th and days away, I know personally, and I'm sure many of you do, what it's like to have that one year mark of losing someone you loved. I just months ago did that for the year, first year of not having my dad. They have that. Then they have the upcoming holidays. They have yet to see, see justice And in my opinion, they're not going to anytime soon because in my opinion, they don't have the guy that did this. And if they do, he's not by himself in what occurred. And I just personally would like to say, if y'all want to focus your energy somewhere, instead of being hateful to this family who does not need it, nor did they ask to be out in the spotlight, focus on the case at hand, right? Like, for example... The fact that if you are someone who believes Koberger is guilty, did it alone, he's some loser incel weirdo, look again, please. Spend your time looking again. Go over the Linda Lane footage. Instead of hating on this family, go grab your glasses and turn your lights off, mess with the lighting on your phone, your TV, your computer, and you will see something important. You will see that... And I'm trying to do a video on it, but I'm trying to make it good. And I'm finally just getting over being very sick. So y'all can do this on your own. Spend your time making it worth it over the case, not hating on a family's personal business, um, especially at a time like this. So these people are going through a lot. Spend time seeking justice if that's what you're here for, right? Look again at Linda Lane. I'm telling you, some of us are out here screaming For you guys to pay attention and to look at what we're pointing out to you guys. It's there. I can see it with my own two eyes. I have to see it better with, I don't know, a magnifier, changing the lighting, making my picture on my phone bigger. But it's there, you guys, and it's disgusting and it's sick. And if you want justice, spend your time on that. I can't believe people would literally hate on this family for this, but you're not hating on the Chapin family. And I'm not going to go here because I'm going to definitely get hate for this. But those siblings are back at that fraternity. And if I am wrong, which I am almost positive I'm not, that some of those boys are well aware of what happened. And I can't imagine Hunter, Ethan's brother, and Hunter, Ethan's so-called best friend of one whole year, that they don't have a clue what happened. Because I'd bet my bottom dollar, they all know what happened. So if you want to hate on something about siblings, hate on that. And I seriously don't want to hate on anyone, but I'm making a point here that's a real point. And I realize a lot of you don't like this type of conversation, but I'm, a, I'm being real and I, I can't not speak what I believe to be what should be necessary. Everyone should stop with their opinions and their bullshit, basically. Hating on a family that is grieving have a long way to go before they find any type of peace in their hearts And this is what we're talking about. Why? Please, again, if someone wants to explain why this is our business, I'd love to hear your explanation. But, you know, I'm sorry if you guys don't agree with me, but I feel that this young lady who's a grown woman um, is not doing the right thing, being very selfish. And that's my that's my perspective. I'd love to know what you guys think. And my thoughts and prayers are with the families. 
as they continue to go through this pain. And honestly, um, thoughts and prayers, especially to Kaylee's parents. Um, I'm sorry on behalf of this community for the bullshit. I hope they're not looking. I hope they're not listening. But, you know, it's kind of hard, I'm sure, to not do that at this point. But I'm glad Kaylee's sister, Olivia, probably has this under control. And they have a good family. And again, I'll say it one last time. It's none of our business. So I don't know, you guys. Let's be kind. Let's not spend energy being so hateful, but let's be kind because that's the way you make a difference in the world. Anyways, you guys, I am working on that video to show you for those of you who don't want to believe anything other than Koberger's the sole lone wolf in this, whatever you want to call it. I'm working on it. I know um, someone else has done a video. I'm working on it. A few people are pointing this out. Y'all just have to go look for yourselves, really. That's all you got to do. And then please ask yourselves, why are we focusing on nonsense and bullshit instead of focusing on why only one person is sitting in a jail cell for the last year and what's going on here? Where's the justice? Is there ever going to be justice? If I can see what I see and others are seeing it too, then there's a huge problem with the justice system because it doesn't take much to see and they're pretending that we're all stupid. And I think that's really <laughs> quite shameful to think that they actually believe the world is stupid enough to not see what's going on. These people made a very shoddy attempt at being invisible per se. And I still don't have the right terminology, which is what I've been waiting on. But I've been taking screenshots, recording video, going back over it. So I'm just, I got to put it together for you guys. So maybe later, um, hopefully, if not later today, tomorrow, just be kind out there. And please leave this family alone. Can you put yourself in their shoes for five seconds, please? Anyways, guys, stay safe until next time. I'll catch you on the And just remember what we're here for. Like I always say, this is about the victims because they still deserve to have a voice and their families, well, they deserve justice.